So right now we're going to shape it for like uh, each bun. We need uh, 20 grams of uh, of yeast, instant yeast. Then we need the uh, lukewarm milk. Four hundred. So we need to get the temperature, we should at least okay. 29 degrees, so it's still like 35, so we need to wait. And it's the time we mix them all together. So right now we're, um, I am going to do the, the final dough, which is include by uh, bread flour, egg, lemon, butter, honey, malt or maple syrup sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, and all dried uh, uh, fruits. So I have with me cranberries. This is the only dried ingredients I have because I can find it some dried dried fruits in the grocery store. But I have the dried cranberries here, so that's fine. So. So right now I'm going to do our uh, sponge. So I have with me the. So that's the dough. I need to remove that from there. So this dough needs to be rest at least 30 minutes. We need to ferment this for 30 minutes and it's the time we have to mix it on our final dough. So this, this is what we call a starter dough or sponge, sponge dough. So I have with me, this is ready now, so I have here a kitchen towel, cover it. So you can put some warm here, like warm towel to cover on this so that it will also help to proof this right away. Or if you have a proofer in your house, that's much better. So this is a warm towel, I will cover it here. Okay, so let it ferment for 30 minutes. So 
So we're done with the 30 minutes uh, fermentation. So I have with me the the one that I ferment uh, 30 minutes ago. See how this still looks so good. The fermentation is really good. Yeah. So just put this on the side first. We will do the the final dough. Uh, the one that I said a while ago, the final dough. So I have with me the butter. It's too far. Can I move this? There you go. Okay. So I have with me the butter. And the sugar as well. Try to cream them first before before mixing everything. big bowl where we can uh, put our um, you can put dusting here small dust of flour or you can spray a little bit there this uh, cooking uh, spray then put this one here but we need to roll it a little bit here then make it like a round so if it's sticky a little bit put some flour on your hand you do like that or you can use uh, this scraper I have you do like that okay. and then fold I don't have a siren wrap actually because everything is locked down right now so you can use this warm towel to cover it and then proof it so in a warm temperature area if you have a proofing machine then that's much better <laughs> it's it, it won't take too long okay so we're gonna wait for 60 minutes to 75 minutes for this until they rise properly. So try to punch it and to remove all 
But if you're selling, you need to weigh it. this out right now so this is my hot cross band for Easter Sunday I like for Easter month so I have with me uh, or orange marmalade or you can glaze it with uh, with um, apricot jam you can do that too. <clears throat> so I have here the the jam, so I need to brush it. This is orange marmalade actually, this is not a jam or marmalade. So like that.
good. It looks so yummy too. So also you can use the you know the sugar syrup you can make your own sugar syrup if you want to use it let me I like uh, apricot jam or, uh, or orange marmalade looks so yummy Okay, um, I hope you like my cross bun. If you have any question, just leave a message on my video on my YouTube channel and then I will answer you right away how to make this. Okay, so this is now my cross bun, hot cross bun. So, as you can see here, looks so nice, perfectly done. The glazing looks great too.